from the series Alien Adventures. Let's start. Chapter 1, Storm Surprise. Max and Chad bent low over their hollow boards. They raced across the surface of the Celestin in search of Mok. He had been captured by some Minotaurs. Soon they spotted the huge Minotaurs up ahead. Nock was trapped in a ruby cage. The pyrite panthers were pulling him on a cart. Hurry up, Max! Cat urged, speeding ahead. Minotaurs are some of the most bad-tempered aliens in the galaxy. They wear armors made from tough ruby red crystals. They can shoot red mineral rays from the bands on their wrists. Diet mineral marsh made up from ground up rocks. Minotaurs live in the crystal caves on Celestin. Protective spikes, helmet, chest plates, ruby red armor, camouflage. The armor the Minotaurs wear can change color. That means they can camouflage themselves against the crystal rocks on the planet. Wait, Max said, star staring at a huge cloud of dust in the distance. It's a mineral storm! We need to hide! They watched as the Minotaurs walked straight into the swirling dust. What about Nock? Cat called back. We don't have a choice, replied Max. We have to get out of the storm! They landed their hoverboards and looked around somewhere for shelter. Max spotted a small hole in a pile of rocks. They shrank and ran around inside just as the storm hit. They watched the storm sweep across the landscape. Mineral rain thundered down. At last the clouds cleared and Max and Cat were able to leave their shelter as they grew back to normal size. Just then Cat heard a scuffling noise not far off. What's that? she whispered. Chapter 2 Panther Rescue Cat hurried over to a large crack in the ground. Max! she called. Max peered down and saw a pyrite panther trapped below. It was scratching the walls. It must have come separated from the others in the storm, Max said. We have to help it. Max and Cat pressed the buttons on their spacesuits and their wings unfolded. They flew down to the panther. Part of its hardness was caught under a large rock. Uh, the panther snarled at them. Easy, Cat called softly. We're trying to help you. She stroked its head and soon it was calm. Max gently unclipped the harness from the panther's collar. Now let's get you out of here, said Max. Together Max and Cat lifted the panther and flew it back up to safety. It's really heavy, said Cat. We're nearly there, Max replied. Just keep going. As soon as they reached the top, the panther leapt out of their arms. It ran in the direction the Minotaurs had gone. Come on, Cat cried, flying after the panther. It might lead us to knock. The panther bounded along, along the rocky track. Max and Cat followed behind. Soon they came to a huge pyramid. It was shaped out of jammed shards of colored stone. It's the pyramid we saw on the map in the cave, exclaimed Cat. That means the fragment must be here, too, Max said. The pyramid was surrounded by a moat of hot bubbling red liquid. They could feel the heart rising off it. Their wings began to flicker and fade from the heat. We need to land, Max said. The panther stalked up to the edge of the moat. Then it stared up the pyramid. It wants to get inside. Maybe that's where the Minotaurs have taken off, Cat said. Max and Cat saw a path of stepping stones right across the moat. It looks like it's the only way across, said Cat. The panther leapt onto the first stone and jumped again, avoiding a smaller stone. Max went first. He stepped onto the stone that the panther had missed. It started to sink in the moat. Follow the path! The panther is taking! 
cried Cat. It must know which ones are safe. Carefully they made their way across the moat. Chapter 4 Attack! Max heard a loud rumble in the sky. Hovering overhead was a spaceship. Cruel! she cried. Suddenly, metallic green balls started raining down. As soon as they landed, as they landed, Badlaw's deadly robot split open, ready for action. Max and Cat ran across the last of the stepping stones. They pressed themselves against the side of the pyramid. More and more crews landed at the edge of the moat. There are so many of them! Cat gasped. <gasps> One of the crows tried to cross the stepping stones. It took a wrong step and sank into the bubbling liquid. It won't be long before they make it across, Max said. We need to get inside the pyramid, quickly. The panther put its paw on the statue next to the entrance. The door split open. Max and Cat followed their panther inside. And the door slammed shut behind them. And the pyrite panther ran off and they were all alone. Let's find out what happens in the race to the pyramid. Until next time, it was me.